kill this all. I'm never going to procrastinate again, I promise. I'm working with Kenji and Forest Knight on a subscriber leaderboard project. And my task was to use JavaScript to get YouTube comments from the YouTube API. Check out the links to Ken and Forest video in the descriptions for more project details. But back to the task at hand. I don't really know JavaScript. And instead of taking the week that I had to complete the task, I obviously instead decided to binge watch anime. Why are you like this, Tina? And I also thought to myself, I probably don't want to piss off these people. Right. Well, the impeding doom began to set in, and I felt a massive wave of anxiety and regret. And I thought to myself, ah, yes. Finally, I am motivated enough to get started. So as reality set in more and more, I realized that there's actually no way that I can properly learn JavaScript in three hours let alone also write the script to get the YouTube comments from the API. So the first thing I did was to see if I can procrastinate learning JavaScript a little bit longer and see if I can steal some codes from the internet. After some advanced Googling, I looked at some of the sample scripts from the YouTube API and felt another wave of anxiety, panic, and regret. Why are there so many brackets and weird arrow things? Why do code samples never do exactly what I need to do? And then I thought, maybe someone did it on YouTube and made a tutorial on it. Good thinking, Tina. So I crossed my fingers and searched on YouTube. And there was good news and bad news. The good news is that I had better luck on YouTube and it seems like people have indeed used the API in JavaScript. The bad news, though, is that for some reason, everybody overachieved and made entire apps with OAuth and everything else as well. Okay, but that's something, right? I thought I could probably just steal the bits of code that had to do with pulling the data from the API part. But unfortunately, the JavaScript is all embedded in HTML and CSS, and the apps that people were building were really confusing to me because, like I said, I don't actually know what's happening in the JavaScripts. Two hours to go. Well, I guess it's time to learn the basics of JavaScript. I start out by generally understanding JavaScript's high-level characteristics. I learned that it's an object-oriented scripting language, dynamically typed, and syntax is similar to C, explains the dumb brackets, and is intricately linked to web development, explains why people keep building apps. So understanding these characteristics about JavaScript was extremely helpful. Thankfully, I do have experience with Java, Python, and C, and since it has traits that are similar to these languages, it gives me a good context for JavaScript. The next thing to do is to learn the syntax just enough so that I can start declaring variables, manipulating data structures, using loops, and making and using functions. I figured that should be enough so that a combination of the official documentation and bits of YouTube video tutorials should get me through. I hope. So I did that. One hour remaining. If I pull this off, I'm never going to procrastinate again, I promise. I lied to myself. Okay, okay, so now I at least understand what the guiding tutorial is doing, but I still don't know how the front end and back end actually link together for this app that this guy is building. So at around the, I would say like 45 minute mark, I just said screw it and I just built the guy's app all the way up to the point where he's pulling data from the API. And thankfully, I know enough JavaScript at this point, so I was able to tease out the part that has to do with pulling the data. 10 minutes remaining. After a productive meeting, I felt an immense sense of relief, and I promised myself I would never procrastinate. P.S. You should check out Ken's video for what the leaderboard project is about and why we're doing this. You should also check out Forrest's video on the tech stack and all the details on how he's building a leaderboard. He actually knows JavaScript, unlike me, so I promise it'll be far more education. See you guys in the next video.